it's a night that we are all going to see the blood moon gracing our skies. The spectacular celestial event, a total lunar eclipse. And already visuals are pouring in from different cities that we are showing you right now. Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Lucknow. And you can see as the eclipse progresses. This is going to be a total lunar eclipse and the longest eclipse visible in India this year and will last nearly three and a half hours. During this uh, striking astronomical event, the Earth will align directly between the Sun and the Moon, casting its shadow across the lunar surface and transforming it into a glowing red-orange orb. Now, the partial umbral phase of the eclipse has already begun and totality is expected to kick in around 11 p.m. And our reporters are there looking at the skies, keeping a tab on how it's progressing and talking to the people who are watching it. Joining us now is Santosh Sharma from Lucknow right now. Santosh, do tell us how is it looking up there from the sky, in the skies of Lucknow? Uh, right now, I'm presenting the Prayagraj. This is the Tirthrat Prayagraj, or we can say this is the Sangam Nagri Prayagraj. And you can see the visuals. This is not a lunar eclipse. It's not a, uh, any uh, planetarium change. This is uh, it's having a vital, uh, uh, we can say, the importance uh, for the Indian astronomy, or we can say the Panchang, the Rashi effect. And you can see through the visuals that the saints are chanting with their mantras, and they are, uh, they are remembering their goddess they uh, they are uh, having their uh, amala in their hands and they are chanting their months and silently this is the precious time we can say this is the crucial time when the lunar eclipse started and now the effect is going to be start from 9 57 pm and it will continue to the three hours and uh, this is also a, uh, we can say that after 122 years uh, this is uh, having a, a very coincidence that from this auspicious day they, uh, when the lunar eclipse is there and the pitra paksh is going to be started on the same day that's the reason for the astronomy, or we can say this is the uh, lunar eclipse, but for the Indian science, or we can say the Vedic science, this claims this is a big historic moment for all of us. For the 120 years back, uh, we got this uh, astronomical position of uh, uh, Earth, Sun, and Moon. Uh, right now, we, uh, we have uh, some uh, Prohit, uh, those who are chanting, and under his uh, guidance, uh, uh, we can ask uh, some importance of this. Uh, Maharaji, aaj jo chandragrahan pada, mandir band hai, lekin mantro charan kiya ja raha hai. Iska kitna bada mahatwa hai? Dekhi, mantra dhina devata. Mantra jo hote hai, bhagwan ko prashan karne ke liye hote hai, unke pushti dene ke liye hote hai. Mandir kapad band hote hai, man mein bhagwan ki aradhana karte hai, tab karte hai, jab karte hai, to unko pushti pradaan hoti hai. इस प्रकार से सभी जो है आज के दिन जो ग्रहण समय में जो भी मंत्र पूजन किया जाता है आराधना किया जाता है उसमें भगवान की पुष्टि शक्ति प्राप्त प्राप्त होती है सो व्हाट द पंडित जी सेइंग द पुरोहित जी सेइंग दैट दिस इज द दिस इज द टाइम व्हेन Lord Moon, as we can say, we all the plants, whether it's the moon or the sun, we worship them. And in the Indian uh, mythology, uh, Lord Chandrama is is uh, is a symbol of is the Lord of uh, uh, is of uh, uh, we can say the calmness, the coolness. And when the lunar eclipse happens, uh, so th this is the time when the Lord Chandrama is in trouble. And by chanting these mantra, we are standing, all these prohits are standing, all the saints are standing with Lord Chandrama. They are helping with their, with their mantra to the Lord Chandrama. And when uh, we can say, there's an English saying that uh, friend in need is friend indeed. Uh, this now, uh, Lord Chandrama is in need of a power. And by chanting these mantra, we are giving the, uh, we are giving the, uh, power to Lord Chandrama, so they, uh, so uh, uh, so that uh, he can fight, he, he can pass this crucial time of lunar eclipse. Uh, so you can see the visuals uh, through that uh, the, everyone is having a mala in their hand, in the, uh, their hands inside the gomuk. Everyone is rotating the ma uh, mala, 
chanting their mantra very silently. This is the importance that there is no noise, there is no uh, uh, dhol, manjira, or there is no bhajan. This is the chanting, this is the mantra of uh, silently mode. This, the silent mode of chanting mantra, this empowers the mantra and empowers the Lord. So that's the reason. The, uh, this is the temple of Aman Kameshwar, which is having a, a connection with Lord Rama also. When uh, Lord Rama and uh, Goddess Sita went to the jungle for the uh, 14 years exile, this is the place when, uh, while uh, going through the uh, Prayagraj, Lord Ram and Lord uh, Goddess Sita established uh, Bhagwan Mankameshwar and they are worshipped. And this is the place, uh, that, that's the reason that all these disciples of the Vedic uh, Shastra, all the disciples, Disciples of the uh, of the Vedic uh, Vangmai, Hindu Vangmai, uh, they are following the uh, they are following the rituals of, of this uh, lunar eclipse. So we can say uh, the scientist claims that this is the astronomical change. This is the positioning of uh, uh, sun, earth, and moon. But for Indian science, for the Vedic science, uh, what the Hindus claim that this is the crucial time for Lord Chandrama. Or when solar eclipse happens, this, that will be the uh, crucial time for Lord Surya. So this is the time for the crucial or we can say the tough time for Lord Chandrama. And that's the reason in this during time all the temples have been closed and the mantra, is, ch mantra chants is going on. Stay on with us, you know, as it is progressing, we are showing the visuals of the moon on the screen as well. And uh, imagine 7 billion people across the world are watching this phenomena right now together and this is something that's been happening from time immemorial you have to understand a phenomena that's older than humanity it is as old as the universe itself uh, so do tell us uh, santosh that uh, while you we understand you're in Prayagraj and uh, the whole ancient Vedic wisdom which is connected with these astronomical events is also very important. But do tell us if you can tell us why does the eclipse happen? Why do we see this darkness spreading across the moon? And why the blood moon? Why this redness in the moon that we see during a full eclipse? Stand by. of uh, earth when falls on uh, the lord uh, on the uh, moon and because all we know that uh, 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 moon rotates around the earth and when uh, uh, the shadow of earth uh, totally covers and after during this rotation when uh, uh, when moon um, uh, passes that area where the, the shadow falls this is the lunar eclipse but uh, for the vedic Vedic, uh, we can say the right. Vedic uh, period or from the Vedic period, this is having a very importance uh, of uh, uh, why this is a very crucial for the Hindus. Uh, let me ask uh, to the Purohits, uh, Maharaj Ji, this Chandra Grahan, it's said that it's a big deal. When the Chandra Grahan comes to the Chandra Grahan, when the Chandra Grahan comes to the Chandra Grahan, when the Chandra Grahan comes to the Chandra Grahan, Chandra Grahan, Lekin iska Vedic Shastro mein, kis tarikhe se iska varnan kiya gaya hai, kitna mahato poon hai ye? Now is also Ashutosh Mishra from uh, Delhi. He's been at the Nehru Planetarium and tracking that moon uh, for a while now. We've been speaking to you, Ashutosh, over the course of the evening. As the eclipse is spreading, I can see it on the screens. You know, it's like a blot of ink. When you drop it on a blotting paper, it starts spreading slowly across that paper. Something like that, we can see the darkness spreading. But, uh, you know, it is a phenomena that uh, many of us see in our lifetimes, but uh, sometimes do not understand it that very well. If you could explain to us what really happens in a blood moon situation, why is there redness in that moon? Well, to explain that, I'm joining by the senior programming, uh, programmer at Nehru Planetarium, Prerna. But since you ask about the moon, like in five minutes or ten, so it will come to totality. And it gives me that impression and it reminds my child, my daughter, when I you know, keep a piece of pie and then just take a piece of pie and then I ask who, who ate it actually. So it just reminds me exactly the moment. Now, in fact, the redness, they are actually giving a color to just understand that how it is going to look red moon. But it's coming to the totality. And if you see that at least 90, 95% of the moon has been 
to utli covered and prerna uh, always the curiosity remains uh, we understand the red given the its wavelength and the speed to uh, speed of flight so the wavelength has a different and fastest one but what exactly makes it look uh, red moon why we call it red moon so because of uh, the scattering of light and uh, as you rightly said that uh, color red had the uh, higher wavelength so at the time of sunrise and sunset we usually see the red color because of that because it's scattered Uh, very fast so that is the reason when uh, earth comes in between an obstacle the past part of the light coming uh, casting the shadow on it we see red in color because of the atmosphere and, and isn't it look like the piece of pie someone stole like a child you bring some piece of cake and then someone literally eat you know ask okay who exactly ate it look it's only hardly 10% visible for now yes and also uh, it's another celestial play is going on uh, as clouds is also playing a uh, game of yeah hybrid. actually but now we have been lucky see at least for last one hour we have been clearly seeing it and right right in, you know in front of us we are seeing the tele projection yes here. yes so uh, this time we have projected uh, the big screen so that people on a large scale can see what is going on and we have connected one of our telescope hmm. so that live feed can be seen by remember every time there is a lunar or solar eclipse so we have been coming here to covering this and how do you explain this part of you know the eclipse now it's hardly 10% is total uh, covered so how do you going to explain that uh, that takes a shape of this cover and this color that comes yes so uh, we can uh, we can clearly see that it's coming in a two colors half of the shade part is already the disk has been covered uh, uh, by the earth Did you call it disk that's how the programmers yes. define yeah the shape of moon exactly looks like a disk so yes. the disk is covered and the remaining part is the left of the eclipse phase which we are waiting the totality comes around 11 uh, 11 pm so 11 pm uh, till 225 uh, in the morning this entire eclipse duration will uh, will remain so understand you know when there is a solar eclipse you call it ring of fire and when it takes a similar color like red when it comes to lunar eclipse you call it uh, uh, you call it a red moon or a red color so where exactly in all those part across the globe we would be able to see the red moon is it only visible in india northern india or all across the world so it will be visible in asia beside asia australia america parts of europe and africa also going to see this uh... scientifically how how important this is seeing the red moon or it is just ordinary uh, astronomical movement or planetary movement so for astronomers and people who are interested in astrophysics this is a na- natural uh, phenomena but people like to cover it to see it how totality because every time you won't get chance to see the total lunar eclipse when do we see this next uh, so in 26 we'll going to see it uh, the lunar eclipse mm-hmm. from india in between probably there will be will be eclipses but that we cannot see from india so in fact from 2018 mm-hmm. to uh, 2025 uh, from delhi we have waited so long in 20 to then it was will be 22 22 but due to the bad weather condition and mm, also the polluted sky yeah. because it was just after the diwali mm. so because the sky was polluted we cannot I see but you made lot of arrangements people even here to eat and that's exactly how we you know the defy the scientific fraternity actually defy the belief that look these eclipses have nothing to do uh, as far as rule is concerned what should you eat or it's all about the belief and again we see the curious people in a huge number at nehru planetarium uh, there are telescopes have been put on all the arrangements uh, tele projections uh, have been made and uh, again this is not to be disappointed of course for the people those are not able to see because of the low visibility watch it turn india today on uh, we are bringing you live images from nehru planetarium and of course 2026 will give you another such moment of the lunar eclipses for those who are enthusiasts who are the curious anjali absolutely these moments keep coming in one's life and they can witness it but of course you know every single of these celestial events is important it brings in a new reality a new understanding for how vast this universe is the planets their movement their impact it is all very interesting and uh, you know what ashutosh uh it also brings to my mind you know how much india has progressed as far as uh, you know uh, space studies are concerned we are talking about going to the moon itself and today we see the moon eclipsed and india you know of course in india as you were earlier mentioning it is not just about what's happening now in the field of science we've had an ancient wisdom that understands these celestial events that tells us there is a connection between every entity and body uh, in this entire universe but also india has really taken the studies forward has really gone ahead as far as the research is concerned and it must be amazing to see that fire burning in so many people over there 
and you know that's why we call it a reinvention our vedic uh, if you see all our panchang that they define the movement of uh, these planets uh, and that matches to the uh, you know the astronomer uh, calendars so or our panchang that based on yajur ved rig ved or uh, atharva vedas when they talk about these astronomical incidents remember uh, aryabhat uh, varamihir bhaskaracharya so their principle of the planetary movement eventually via arabi travel to uh, europe then you hear the similar principle of uh, the astronomical event or the astrophysicists like uh, uh, galileo or uh, copernicus so the, all the principles that came eventually was all started from the indian ancient era when we had our own uh, astrophysicists like aryabhatta varaha mihir or bhaskar acharya they're all principle eventually the similar moon when they you know from uh, dashmal or the decimal to all these signs that eventually evolved from india through arabit of course went to further west uh, and the europe so we had we had this advanced technologies to calculate calculate the planetary movement now when we talk about so it comes from neil armstrong to rakesh sharma and then we are now uh, planning our mission gaganyaan gradually of course for last mission chandrayaan mission mangal so it's a movement and it also shows the india's uh, conviction towards uh, making impossible a possible that mission moon mission space mission gaganyaan all this and that brings enthusiasts not only launching about satellites in the space but also reaching far beyond even imagination and when we talk about india thinking beyond imagination that's what makes these people are curious the young boys and more than the youth that i see here uh, i what was more curious for me to see the uh, small kids coming out with their parents with and these children who are quite you know has the enthusiasm and the interest about how these incidents uh, are happening so more it is giving them a scientific temperament to understand uh, knowing about the planetary movement and far beyond the you know the belief that they are hearing uh, from their dadi nani ki kahani it is a solar eclipse do not eat uh, ye mat khao wo mat pehno so when they understand okay looks like uh, the red moon is finally started being visible and this is a total uh, eclipse to uh, the, the lunar eclipse 2025 the biggest planetary movement of this year has come in totality anjali that has just been announced here now uh, you know the eclipse has completed it comes in a totality 100% lunar eclipse and in fact of course it's far so quite uh, seeing on a red color is a, lit a little difficult but if i see the projection uh, the tele projection being done on the screen uh, so these programmers have made the arrangement to see that how red actually eventually it will look like i wish i could just you know take the camera to the telescope and bring you the real images how it looks in the telescope ashutosh how red exactly is looking but maybe in 30 minutes probably we'll be able to see literally a red moon Anjali. so so have they declared it that it is right now a full eclipse uh, has the have the people at the nehru planetarium said it or, or is it just visibly that we are saying right now that yes we can see the complete uh, totality no they just announced it in fact okay uh, it was it was predicted at around 1056 1057 it will come in totality so it is visible at the same time and they also announced that now the uh this entire solar eclipse has completed so the entire disk you know the programmers call in different language that have that is not a moon is actually looks like a disk eventually it looks like a disk i could see it like a piece of you know pie that you know reminds my daughter everything in time i keep the that cake or a pie on a table and then eventually piece missing so this remind me programmers see this as a disk the scientific you know the scientist fraternity Sing now. will uh, you know uh, give it some other phrase so yes it comes in a totality i think the red color has uh, been marked here to just witness how exactly the red moon will look like so okay. this is not exactly the, the live color in fact it's a live uh, tele projection but they have the programmers have just made sure that how actually the red moon will look like and uh, that's how um, it has been programmed and we but prerna uh, so it just been now so we, does it exactly look like in totality or it just been now that now it is coming to the in totality now it's uh, start coming because from 11 uh, pm onwards mm -hmm. the entire disk will be covered mm -hmm. like uh, earth will properly obstructing the path mm -hmm. of the light and how long it going to stay like uh, it it will stay the totality will will remain till 12 30 or so mm -hmm. and after that it start getting to its normal so we have the window of one and half hour for the similar projections and it goes invisible now literally because of the cloud maybe uh, because again the weather gets cloudy it's a monsoon and we see most of the people across north india probably because of the dense cloud would not be able to see it of course we will uh, anjali lucky here i mean we have witnessed this moon the whole disk then a piece of being covered gradually now so it comes in a totality right absolutely so totality has kicked in 
and uh, the blood moon should be visible from various cities of India. That's quite interesting.